What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and I was just editing some videos for the upcoming Based on Tuesday and also for my Instagram page and suddenly my doorbell rang and I wasn't expecting anyone or anything I hadn't ordered any package or anything actually and when I went to open it up <laughs> I saw the courier, the delivery guy carrying this box and of course as you can see here it says GNL I was not expecting this to arrive today I didn't even get a notification that the base was going to be shipped but I ordered what's inside of here about one and a half years ago and I kind of forgot that I had placed the order to be honest and like I said I didn't even know that I was going to get this today so I'm pretty surprised right now <laughs> I'm also excited, so I figured let's do a quick unboxing and first impressions video of the base uh, because it's something rather unique, so let's get to it. Okay, there's a hard case inside, so it's gonna be a bit, a bit tricky. Okay, <laughs> there was some figuring out how to open the case, but now I think we have done it. <laughs> you ready? Bam! Look at this. Wow. You can see General Custom Shop. Wow. Take a look at this. Double P pickup. Um, all matte finish. Maple neck. Swamp patch body. Uh, really fairly light as well. Two piece body. So I'm gonna connect it and let's hear how it sounds like. Okay guys, so I have the base with me right now and as you can see, it is fairly, fairly well balanced. It stays in place, great weight, uh, it's smooth, the finish is really smooth and comfortable. The neck is also satin, so the body and the neck are matte finishes or satin finishes, which are very smooth and easy to transition around. The first thing though that I noticed when I picked up the base was that the neck profile was or is chunkier than the LB100 I also have. And I was expecting the neck to be the same as that one. Uh, I don't know if it's the way I ordered the base or if it's just the, the model itself, but this feels a bit chunkier. Nothing crazy, but there's a bit more meat in the neck. So front to back, but it's still fairly comfortable to play. So uh, I haven't, done much yet but I that's one thing that I did notice and other than that as you can see of course we have two P pickups we have volume for the neck volume for the bridge tone control and then we have a switch which is a kill switch because I could have ordered a series and parallel switch but I don't like having to turn down two volumes at the same time so for example I have position in the front I have the neck and if I flip it towards the most downward position, there's no sound, which is pretty cool because I can just kill it immediately like that. And the same applies for the bridge pickup. So uh, let's go through some sounds and see how this sounds like. And at some point I'm gonna turn on a, an amp simulation later in post-production. So to hear how it sounds like right now. Right now it's going through my Noble DI, but let's hear the neck pickup. Bridge. 
nice bridge pickup sound. It's a bit fatter, of course, than a regular J. And now both together. Just because I'm, you know, like I said, it's a bit thicker than the LB100, but it's still super comfortable. Now let's hear how it sounds like with a pick. It has a bit less, you know, chimey top end than the LB100. I'm not sure. I have that impression. I'm, like I said, I would have to compare them side by side, which I'm going to do at some point. But, but so far, it sounds very nice. I believe also that the string spacing might be a bit tighter. Uh, I f have that impression, I'm not really sure. Maybe because of the neck here, or, or the width here, the nut, but... I have to get used to the neck profile a little bit. The tone control cap might be of a different value than the LB100. I'm not sure, but I think the, the LB100 gets more gets darker when you completely close off the tone control. This still retains more mids. So far, pretty nice. Uh, I'm really happy that I got the bass and I'm looking forward to recording more with this new beast. guys liked the video let me know what you think in the comments and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel as always thank you guys for watching let me know what you think in the comments and i'll catch you guys on the next one take care mm -hmm.